Okay, <laughs> this is unbelievably exciting. Um, this is a nest, a bumblebee nest, and the, the, these are Bombus pratorum, early nesting bees, and this is in a friend's garden, and what had happened is, is he had come out and was going to zoom out to um, light a bonfire with all of these old sort of bits of dead wood and things and suddenly heard lots of buzzing and discovered this nest here so yesterday it was all exposed by the bonfire and what's happening now is wonderful because yeah, you can't see but queen bee let's see if I can get down the is, is in here and all of these workers are busy trying to sort of cover up the nest. There's a little one down here. I've been watching them sort of bringing little bits of debris to cover up what was an exposed nest. This is one of the first bumblebees, obviously you can tell by its name, um, to establish nests early in the year. And we are, I think we're mid-May now, and this looks like it was before, before the bonfire, a fairly well-established nest. And this just shows how, well, there's, I think that could be the queen there. Um, I'm very, very close to it. And I've, you know, bumblebees are not aggressive. Actually, to be fair, they're probably so concerned about rebuilding the nest that the last thing they're worried about at the moment is a camera filming them. But um, it's very exciting. And what will have happened is the queen, um, who is just in here, she's, she's bigger than um, the others, <coughs> will have established this nest back in, I don't know, say March. Um, <clears throat> and she'll have laid half a dozen or so eggs into a little pea-sized ball of pollen and nectar and kept them warm, brooded them for about a month or so, and these, these are the workers that would have hatched out. They're all females. The queen won't leave the nest now. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but this will now, I'm guessing underneath here, this, this could be around about the size of, um, oh, I don't know, between a tennis ball and a small football. And the biggest it will get is to sort of small football size and maybe oh, oh, 200 bumblebees at the most um, but uh, anyway it's very exciting and, and I just wanted to video it and, and I'll put it up later so, and hopefully I'll be able to maybe come back later I'll come back later on mm. when, it's, when it's a little bit bigger you can just see in there so I'm just going to keep this on a little bit more because you can see the workers, I was just watching the workers cleaning the queen. They're so busy. Absolutely fantastic. Right. And this little one quickly over here. I've watched her. She's um, looking for um, <clears throat> little bits of leaf to take back. As soon as they fix the nest, They've got to get on with collecting pollen and nectar for um, the brood that's in there. And um, Sue, whose garden this is in, said that when it was exposed yesterday, she could see lots of little peanut-shaped and sized things, which, which are the cocoons that the, um, oh, that, that the nectar is kept in. And that, oh, oh, I can see one there. Oh. I'll hold it up here. I don't know if you can see that. They're moving the cocoons around. Anyway, I'll leave them to their repair job now. Switching off. 